Kara Art of Sports here with the great Gennady Triple G Golovkin. You finally got it, man. You finally got the fight that you were looking for. Big, strong middleweight in uh, Danny Jacobs. Uh, he looks even a, a little bit bigger than you. His, his height, he's definitely a little bit taller than you. Yeah. How is that going to be an issue? How are you going to combat that in the fight? Right, a little bit different size. And, you know, he's taller than me and bigger than me. This is boxing, you know, it's very interesting in a boxing class. In boxing, I feel Daniel, he's a very good fighter, you know, right now it's very interesting. He's obviously a big puncher. He's a 91% KO ratio, your 92% KO ratio. Uh, last time we saw you fight a power puncher in Lemieux, we saw a very smart Triple G. We saw, you know, box, you use your jab, you had an excellent jab. Is that what we could kind of expect uh, in this fight? Every fight different, yeah, you know, every fight different. Right now it's a little bit maybe change because you know, uh, fight with uh, David, you know, it's maybe a little bit easy because we have different boxing here. Right now, it's a different situation, you know, not easy, you know, not, not like this. I think I have couple strategy more for Daniel. Last time your strategy against uh, Kel Brook, it kind of like you seemed like you went against the strategy. You kind of you said you fought a street fight. I believe Abel said kind of gave you like a D in performance, even though you won. You broke his jaw and all that. What was it about that fight that made you feel comfortable about just kind of running him over? You know, this is a regular fight. You know, after first round, I feel it's finished, and, and he rated just for five rounds. Five rounds is nothing. Right. You're fighting a Madison Square Garden man. Like you were saying in the press conference, this is going to determine the number one guy. We always know that's what you want. How excited are you about that aspect, that once this fight is over, there is no ifs, ands, or buts about who is the best middleweight in the world, right? It's right. I'm very excited. I'm very excited, yeah. Two days ago, like, I saw Daniel, you know, just uh, I look at his eyes, you know, his eyes like, like, like a fire. You know, he's ready. He's ready. It's very excited for me because, you know, right now I understand. I told you he's my favorite fighter and... For me, it's very interesting who's number one right now. You know, not three years later, not five years later. Now, the, his only loss was against uh, a Prague. He got knocked out, but that was a good uh, four or five years ago. I want to say. Do you watch that tape? Is that kind of like a blueprint for you, or is that kind of too far away? That doesn't matter. Oh, this is yeah, it doesn't matter. Right now, he is more serious. This is experience. It's very good experience to him. You know, for him. Right now. He's much stronger, more smarter, you know, he's much, much better. And last question for me, man. Um, obviously, your name is always synced around with, uh, with Canelo. He's talking about finally moving up even above 160, even though he had this catchweight issue with you going to 160. He's fighting on 165, talking about fighting Chavez Jr. What's, like, what's your idea about that? I mean, he didn't want to move up for you. Now he's fighting Chavez Jr. It's not an interest. Not an interest. My focus on Daniel Jacobs. Thank you so much for taking this fight, man. Thank you so much for the time. I always Thanks. appreciate it, sir. Thank you.